Once in a while, I like to go out to buy some book for myself, uh, probably some kind of uh, self-help books or um, some sort of novel. Like this one. This is the uh, Sherlock Holmes stories, collection of all of them in English. And then I put my newly bought books on my bookshelf nicely and neatly. I haven't read like 90% of them. I just buy a lot of books to look smart. Hey guys, Andy. And for today's episode of 5 Minutes About IELTS, I would like to talk about the very best books that I think every IELTS learner should have when they are preparing for the IELTS exam. So without further ado, here is the very first book that I absolutely crazily love. That is Verbal Advantage. There are numerous words in English that everybody knows and uses regularly like uh, the word many. But in order to get uh, a higher score in the IELTS speaking and writing, you need to know more than that. You need to know, you know other more academic synonyms of the word many so that you can get a higher score and also in order not to repeat the word many too much. So what is verbal advantage? Verbal advantage is for people who want to improve their vocabulary and it is a fact that those who have acquired a greater level of vocabulary can enjoy greater success in their career and um, the book contains 10 levels of vocabulary from the easiest to the most challenging but here is the best part it comes with the audio which means that you will not just merely read the book alone you can listen to the audio files which provide you with everything like the uh, spelling the pronunciation the um, examples and the definition and you can listen to the audio files uh, everywhere and anytime when you are going to school, going to work, or when you are staying at home. Isn't that so convenient and enjoyable? Let me just give you one example from the book. Word 1. Paraphrase. P-A-R-A-P-H-R-A-S-E. To restate, put what someone else has expressed into different words. The noun a paraphrase is a restatement of a text or passage to give the sense of the original in fuller terms. You see, the book has everything we need in learning academic vocabulary comprehensively, but there is one downside to the book that I think it is only suitable for advanced learners who want to achieve a band 7 or higher in the IELTS. Still, um, it is such a great book that I think everyone should give it a try. Next, the complete IELTS books. There are three books in this series. The first one is for band 4 to 5, the second one is for band 5 to 5 to 6 to 5, and the last one is for people who want to achieve band 6 to 5 to 7 to 5, which is the toughest book of the series. So as the name suggests, the series covers all part of the IELTS, including the four skills, and also each unit is of a different topic like uh, the environment, technology or the media. So you will gain quite a handful of interesting topic related vocabulary from this book. In each unit you are provided with reading and listening exercises with very clear, well easy to understand instructions. You are also provided with very detailed guidance on how to do the writing task 1 and writing task 2. And the speaking part comes with not only the instructions on how to do the test, but also with the audio files so that you can imagine how the real IELTS speaking test is going to be. These books are just really nifty. Next is the Cambridge Vocabulary for IELTS. This book is suitable for people of all ages, from elementary to advanced. As the name suggests, this book is aimed at helping you to improve your vocabulary in so many topics. For example, in the IELTS writing, you may have to write an, you may have to write an essay on the topic of environment. Before you write anything, you just open the book and turn to the topic of environment and do some vocabulary exercises in the book. And voila! Now you have acquired a great deal of interesting and re topic related vocabulary to use in your own essay. Number 4. IELTS Speaking by Matt Clark. 
There is another book which is suitable for people of all levels, but before I talk about the book, I would like to ask the question, what kind of food do you like? So the simple answer would be, I like eating Vietnamese food because it is very good. So this answer would not get you a high score in the IELTS because first of all, it is too simple. Second of all, it lacks paraphrasing. And the last is it too short. It is too short. So how can we improve this? If you read the IELTS speaking book by Matt Clark and you know apply his techniques carefully, you can turn to a more complicated higher score answer like this. Generally speaking, I would have to say that I am a big fan of Vietnamese cuisine. The main reason for this is that Vietnamese food is often so appetizing with the harmonious combination of uh, appearance, flavor, and texture. To be frank, I highly recommend this book because it will provide you with a lot of interesting vocabulary and structures to use your IELTS speaking, which will definitely enhance your performance. Like in my example, I know, the, I know from the book that the synonym of the word like is a big fan of something. And also uh, the book provides you with some interesting uh, synonyms like I know when the food is very good, I can use the word appetizing, which sounds so much better. Also, um, the book provides you with uh, some interesting phrases to begin your sentence with. Like in my example, well, generally speaking, I can say that, etc. You see, when I haven't thought of the final answer yet, I will use these starting phrases to buy me some time while I am still thinking. Isn't that wonderful? Finally, the Improve Your IELTS series from Macmillan English. This series contains three books. The first one is for reading, the second one is for writing, and the last one is for listening and speaking. So the speaking and the reading books from this series are very similar to the Cambridge IELTS books, so I would not say much about them because you just open the book and you do some practice exercises just like in the Cambridge IELTS. But I want to emphasize on the Improve Your IELTS series for writing because this kind of book is extremely useful. It does not only provide you with the instructions and writing structures on how to do the writing task one and two, but also you are given a handful number of uh, you know grammar and vocabulary topics so that you can Im improve and enhance your writing overall. I especially recommend this book for people who want to you know better their writing and really want to and really passionate about writing. Okay, one last thing. All of these five book series are available online for free, so you can search Google's for the download links. However, if you really want to get them all at once, you can go to the official Facebook page of uh, Five Minutes About IELTS. Uh, you know, fill in your email at the comment section, and then I will send you the link for downloading all five book series. Very simple like that. All right, so that is the end of the episode number six of Five Minutes About IELTS. This is probably the most time-consuming and exhausting video that I have ever done, so I'm gonna take a nap. So I will see you in the next episode of Five Minutes About IELTS, and if you have any suggestion about the next topic of the show, you can comment down below, and I will see you next time. Ciao.